said, uh, twice in 24 hours I find myself coming on here to make a video while I'm really ticked off. Uh, now this time it's uh, not for the same kind of thing. Uh, it's because I was watching someone else's video a little bit ago, the name escapes me right now, I'll put it down here. Uh, they were talking about how SIG is re-releasing the P228 under its military designation. So of course I went over and checked it out. And while I was over there I noticed something. I noticed that SIG is doing a new P250 subcompact. Now I had one, wasn't crazy about it so I sold it because I had the P290 which was smaller. Uh, I was never crazy about the small grip here and I was never crazy about this wedge shaped front end that doesn't have a rail. Well I get over there and what are they got now? One with the medium grip which was not available before and one with a rail. Now, why am I mad? Well, for one, I already got rid of my SIG P250 and I could have just ordered the rail, the new grip for it if I still had the slide. But most of all, I'm mad because whose job is it to keep me updated on crap like this? Uh, because I had no clue this was even available and no one didn't tell me. Uh, so I want to know who is responsible for me not knowing because you're probably fired. Uh, just it, it aggravates me that this could be going on. I'm such a SIG lover. This could be happening, this, this could be available, and I didn't even know about it. And to think, I was going to go out tomorrow and buy another Glock. This gun's about the same size as a P226, it's a little bit taller, it's actually a little narrower and a little taller, a tiny bit longer, but carry-wise, about the same size, holds two rounds more, and I like it a hell of a lot more. Uh, so, heads will roll when I find out who's responsible for me not knowing about this. But uh, if you compare the two guns here, to just actually talk about the guns for a second, instead of how angry I am. Uh, like I said, I didn't like before they had the small grip. They had the, the grip sizes on the P250 interchangeable bodies. Uh, you know the bodies are just modular and you can just buy them for $45. It only came with the small grip. Now it's available with the medium grip. I like the medium grip better. The front originally was just a wedge shaped flat front, had no... Uh, rail or nothing like that. Now it has the rail. So you can see the difference between having the rail and not having the rail. So now that this gun is available, uh, it's good and bad because I was finding myself in a situation where there wasn't a single gun right now that I really wanted that I could have. I want the Springfield XDS but I just can't find one. I've got one ordered but it hasn't come in yet. So now this has given me a new quest, something I'm going to need to buy. Now this only comes in a nitron version, so I don't know if the slide is stainless and covered with nitron or if it's carbon steel and nitron coated. If it's carbon steel and nitron coated, I'm going to go about this a weird way. I'm going to have to get an old two-tone one with the old frame and then buy a new frame for $45 for it that has the bigger grip and the uh, rail. So just wanted to make a quick video about this and uh, see if anybody else didn't know this. Of course, most of you probably aren't as big a SIG lovers as me, so you don't really give a damn. Uh, but how's that different than most of my videos when you don't give a damn what I'm ranting about? So that's all I had to say. So thanks for watching.